and welcome to Paul Ricard, the third round 2017 International GT Open. Last bout, we had a dramatic rain affected race in Spa. It didn't stop Dominic Amario Feinbacher taking victory and with it the championship lead. Alexis has won every race the season so far, but this French circuit represents a very different proposition. With 28 cars entered, the field is wide open. So let's take a look at the very best of the action. Look back at one of the best races of the season with Mikhail Mack leading from pole position but a lightning start from Augusto Farfus taking the turn of Motorsport BMW into the lead as somehow the field were able to shuffle through the opening couple of turns. Now they're all going wrong. That happened a little bit further out on the first lap. So Conrad Lamborghini was turned, others were delayed including Giuseppe Perazzini. Meanwhile, Mikhail Mack and Rob Bell enjoyed the good tussles. Mack got released into clear air. Tom Onslow Cole was recovering masterfully from a difficult first lap. They all legged on turns for Augusto Farfus, who enjoyed a magnificent five-way scrap for the lead of the race as we headed into the pit window. Onslow Cole able to now get his way through the traffic in the SPS Mercedes. But then, dejection at the pit stops smoke pouring forth from BMW and it meant that Farfus and Ranko Vera de Viega were out. Post pit stops and Ramos emerged in the lead with Thomas Biaggi in third behind Valentin Pierberg. That was the move that took Biaggi into second as Miguel Ramos was able to manage his buffer and score he and Mikel Mack's first victory of the season, first of the year in the spirit of race team. Thomas Biaggi and Giovanni Venturini in second, Valentin Pierberg and Thomas Locol into third and claiming Pro-Am honours. Davide Rizzo and Alex Moisev winning the Am class. All smiles in part Ferme. Allez, mesdames, mesdemoiselles, messieurs, convaincu la chaîne des applaudissements pour l'équipage vainqueur. Allez, mesdames, mesdemoiselles, messieurs, du bruit, allez Lots of fight uh, with different cars, so it was uh, great to be out there. Some of the things was uh, very tough, but uh, I managed it very well, I think. Uh, and uh, Miguel was just uh, unbelievable, just driving uh, the victory home, and it feels great. The car is very good. The team did an amazing job with the car. Yeah, but Miguel, a tough stint as well, huh, because of the heat and uh, uh, temperature. It was uh, tough. We decided to stop a little bit early because he was on traffic, definitely. And so I pushed the first three laps and I gained enough to be to overtake the Mercedes just when he was exiting the pit. If not, it will be very different, the, the race. So it was a good race. Then just pushing to give an advantage and then maintain it. It was Andrea Caudrelli who led away from pole position. 26 car strong field hurtled towards the opening turns with Thomas Jaeger slotting to second, Marco Ciocci into third, everybody else squabbled for position. Tang Lee was one of several who had plenty of adventures in the early stages. So many cars on track, there was dicing to be found throughout the pack as Miguel Ramos had his race face on and was steadily picking his way up through the pack, promoting from Avila early on. Race one winner then pushed a little bit too hard. Contact with Lorenco Barrel de Viega. Unfortunately, saw the BMW eventually moving into retirement. Post pit stops, and Fuson Yang inherited the lead from Caudrelli, but was quickly shuffled through the pack. Victor Moving took the lead. Andrea Fontana moved into second. And Marcello Hahn moved up to third. Duncan Tappy, meanwhile, was doing his best to carve through the field. Field moving ahead of Alexander Fraquina. Pitch Seppi Perazzini made this move on Mario Pachuta to snatch fourth place and then Real did hard despite the Italians' very best efforts. Brazilian was able to keep the Mercedes ahead and therefore retain the lead of the throwout class and third in the race overall. That was the crucial error from Perazzini that allowed Hahn back through. Meanwhile, the Victor Bouvet and Fran Rueda, they and the Teo Marti Motorsport team managed the race to perfection and came through to score their first victory in 2017. With Andrea Fontana and 
Vito Postiglioni taking excellent second from Pirelli Racing. Marcello Hahn and Alan Hellmeister winning the Pro-Am class and third overall for the DriveX team. Fantastic weekend all, day, all, all way long. We focused our weekend to, to, to the victory on Sunday. We, we only did with one set la, uh, Saturday's race, so yesterday it was really tough to finish with a good pace and today it was amazing. I, I knew, we knew we put everything in the weekend to, to go for the victory today. Victor, you almost had little to do in the second part. Yeah, for sure. Fran did a really good job in the beginning to deliver the car. In a, in a great spot, then it was just some cars to overtake and then we can just uh, go to the victory. It feels amazing, I have to say thank you to the guys in the team, BMW Motorsport and all my sponsors. It's it's amazing feeling to get my first victory here in, in GT Open and uh, a perfect weekend, we cannot say more than that. Thank you.